Hey Libra, what's going on you guys? This is going to be a quick message for you. Uh, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus or Cross Watcher for January 17th, 2022. I'm here and don't stop believing. So some of you are like your faith is so solid or somebody that you're connected to is, okay? This isn't going to resonate for every Libra, so don't force it. Archangel Michael, please protect me and those listening with your light while I receive this message. Yeah, I feel like somebody, uh, literally, like, somebody's faith is super solid. Their belief in whatever their belief is in, or themselves, I heard, is so solid. Okay, what's the message for Libra? Child of nature. So I feel like a lot of you are connecting with nature. You're connecting with nature spirits, maybe birds or... I also do see somebody here on the, on the dark side of this that's abusive and they're abusive to the environment. Uh, they could like not give a shit about recycling or they, they litter and they're abusive to animals and people as well. So let's see how this goes. I don't know why I'm shuffling those, right? Okay. All right. What's this child nature for Libra? Okay. So a lot of you are getting outside in the nature. You're growing your own stuff or you're thinking about um, gardening or some of you are or you're growing your own food. You're eating healthier. Some of you could be going vegan here. Somebody at your, something about somebody's job too. I feel like somebody's also spying. Somebody could be getting audited. Somebody's business could be getting audited. I also feel like somebody is being watched for the feds for some kind of uh, business at work. Somebody's also, somebody lied about somebody's job or what they do for work here. I don't know, somebody's sick here? You may be, somebody may get some kind of message that somebody's sick. Somebody also is like, uh, listen. You got someone. So somebody's like, well, what do you want me to do? This is you or someone else. What do you want me to do? You always want to blame somebody? Fine, I'll take the blame. Does that make you feel better? No, it never does. <laughs> somebody's never satisfied here. There's a lot of no taking accountability happening like globally, and it's really annoying, okay? Somebody's realizing here, like I really, somebody here, Oh, somebody here is like, damn, man, the one person that I lied to or cheated on uh, later in life, I feel like this could be somebody who, when you dated them or they dated you when you were younger, didn't appreciate it, could have cheated, lied, didn't really, um, didn't really like uh, see the value in somebody. And now I feel like somebody's like growing and someone's like, damn, man. Somebody's finding out about divine people too. Like you're also allowing somebody, uh, God, to guide your steps. You know that you're being divinely guided here. There's also somebody spying on their twin or their soulmate. Somebody spying. Somebody want. There's one person here who's like, yeah, we're all one and love and shit. And somebody's no, we're not all one. We're not the same. So somebody's here is like, don't put me in the same category as you. We're not the same. This could be like racist. Somebody who's racist here. I also feel somebody here is just real mean and cold. Raise the dead. So that could be some necromancy going on here. My phone just lit up. 344. Yeah. So there could be somebody getting exposed from messing with some necromancy. Um, I don't know. This grass all in the background could actually be like dirt. Like gray. I don't know why I'm picking up graveyard and child in nature. Somebody could be spying to see if their necromancy is working. That's for some people. You're just weird. You guys are just weird. I wish you would just stay out of here. Somebody's like, why do we keep doing this? Why do we keep getting back together? Why? So somebody breaks up and then they spy on the person. Okay. And then they break up and they spy on the person. Somebody here likes to play head games. It's nothing but games. Head games. And I can't take it anymore. Yep. Okay. Yeah, someone's like, I can't do it. I just can't do it. I just can't do it, Captain. I don't have to. Oh. 
There could be a younger earth sign who's going through a little bit of karma here. Yeah, it'd definitely be an earth sign. I would say like, I don't know, uh, 20 to 30 maybe. 20 to 40 years old. Someone's sister. Someone's sibling, sister, or brother could be going through karma. Look at this. Look at this. Judgment and the freaking Wheel of Fortune. There's definitely a, a Taurus possibly here that's going through, or this is you in, in relation to something that had to do with a Taurus here. There's a father energy here. There's some, all right, so somebody's under judgment for doing some kind of manipulation or some kind of abracadabra shit, okay? There's, so, there's somebody has an attachment as well. Or, or somebody's just here is be under judgment for being a manipulator, like an opportunist. I'm picking up like opportunist energy here. Somebody who, uh, let me see this. What is this magician here? Why is this magician here? Mentor, inability to allow the student to move on to the role of master. So somebody here, whether this is a boss or some shit like that, but somebody's like, I don't want you to be better than me. I always want, I always want to be the the teacher, and somebody doesn't allow themselves to be the student here. You or somebody you're dealing with always is a know-it-all. Well, I'm older, or I'm this age, and you're this age, and that means nothing. I explained this before. Blah, 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 blah. Somebody's like going against the grain here. Like, bitch, don't tell me. I don't care how old you are. I know more than you do. I've been through more than you. Somebody also is being looked at as a, a player. Somebody could have died or could be doing death spells. I feel like somebody maybe gave, uh, is understanding or someone gave you some information. Your understanding about the manipulation and magic and people doing black magic. Somebody's realizing this, that this has been going on for a while. Oh, somebody's just blah, 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 bad. <laughs> bad to the bone. Somebody's bad to the bone. I don't feel like this is in a good way here. Somebody's a heartbreaker here. Yeah, justice. There's your energy, Libra. So for some of you, this is you. You're a manipulator. You're a misogynist, a womanizer, an opportunist. But they want to be like Fonzie. Somebody thinks they're too cool and shit. And I feel like somebody's shit's all coming crashing down here. I mean, I didn't see that yet, but that's what always happens, right? That's what always happens. Ten of Pentacles. So this could be somebody that, uh, oh, this is a business. Somebody's business is under judgment here, too. The cops could be... Um, looking at somebody's business. But there's, uh, there's also for a lot of you Libras, if you coming into this Ten of Pentacles and it's because you moved away from bullshit, you didn't retaliate, you didn't react, you know, you're like, I'm just going to move away and I'm going to like go get some rest and relaxation and meditate and shit, you know, I'm going to get some sleep. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to be peaceful. I'm not going to fight back. Some of you are getting rewarded with this Ten of Pentacles or someone you're dealing with because they didn't retaliate with dark magic, okay? Somebody knew that they were getting attacked here and they know all about karma though. And they're like, bitch, I know the kind of shit that happens for doing dark magic, especially death magic, especially death magic. Somebody here, there's someone here who was the giver of this magic, okay? And someone here who was on the other end and they... They were guided to just leave it alone. I can't leave you alone. And they did, though. I feel like they did. And that's why this Ten of Pentacles is here. Somebody's getting their justice here. You or somebody else. And uh, it's very well earned, I heard. Very well earned. Yes. And a Pisces. Let's find out about this Pisces. What's up with the Pisces here? Tell me about the Pisces. So this is, uh, you were dealing with a Pisces. Let me see, what's this? So some of you are just like tired of fighting with a Pisces or a Pisces is tired of fighting with you or you just feel like, somebody feels like, damn, man, every time we go over this person's house or every time they call, it's always something. They either are, they, somebody gets into a fight with everybody. Somebody's butting heads with everybody that they come in contact with. This is either you or this is a Pisces here, period. Somebody thought they were bubble bad to the bone, you know, but I feel like they're realizing that there's always somebody better, okay? 
Somebody had to be taught a valuable lesson about what bad really meant. Let's see. Yeah, everybody think, oh, they all move out of my way. Everybody, shit, come on. So for some of you, your father cheated, or you are this father. Somebody's father cheated here. Who did they cheat with? Who did they cheat with? Yes, so that's obviously, and that's my dick card too. So, yes, somebody's father cheated. Either you're this father, or this is your father, or something. Who did they cheat with? Who did they cheat with? A man? So somebody could be getting exposed. If you're a masculine energy, somebody, somebody could be getting exposed that somebody's father cheated with another man. Okay. All right, well, damn. Or an Aries. What's up with this? Yeah, I do feel like uh, somebody's being exposed for being gay here. Heavy Aries energy, but it doesn't have to be. But somebody's just like, why did you tell me? There's also a father here that comes off like they're an angel and shit. This could have been a younger person as well. Uh, I feel like a father here comes off as like an angel. Yeah, I feel like somebody's just uh, defeated here. There's definitely something here about somebody somebody being gay. No doubt. Where are we at? 11? Let's get a spiritual card for Libra. Drink water or mind your own fucking business. So somebody's being told, or this is you, to mind their business. Mind your business. Either you're saying this to somebody, or somebody is saying this to you. Let me see this. Oh, I look on the back, it just says, enough said. I was going to say, it really is pretty cut and dry. I was about to say, it's really cut and dry. One, two, three, four. Okay, who needs to mind their business and drink more water, please? Who needs to mind their business and drink more water? Who needs to mind their business, please? Who needs to mind their business? I don't know, but somebody's like, uh, somebody put an end to some shit. Oh, what is this? If somebody could be trying to look into a betrayal or somebody wants to reopen a case or something. Somebody's like, just mind your business. You don't need to know why I betrayed this person. Some of you are telling your family. Because they feel betrayed by you. And you're just like, I wish my family would just mind their business. Boom. I'm sorry, you guys. Yeah. I do feel like um, somebody's family is, always needs to know exactly what they're doing. This is, this is either your family or somebody else's family. Or somebody feels like, I just wish I could live my life and not have to answer. Uh, somebody also could be like, uh, there's King of Cups again, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, so that Pisces is there now. Why is this King of Cups here? Why is this King of Cups here for Libra? Why is this King? Somebody could be drinking a lot with the Ten of Cups and the King of Cups, and you're just telling this person, like, are you drinking any water at all? So for some of you, there's a, 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 a water sign that's disappointed in you, or you're disappointed in a water sign. I, do, I am picking up... Um, Yeah, I don't know. I feel like somebody drinks again. So there's some kind of message that came out or something that's on social media. Uh, Page of Wands, there's some kind of news that came out that somebody's disappointed in something. This is either for you or this is this water sign. Somebody's disappointed in this water sign for some somebody's family. Somebody found a message. Setup. So somebody's finding out that somebody was involved in a setup. Set up for what? Somebody may have colon cancer. Or somebody needs to get screened for this, get a colonoscopy, or somebody is getting a colonoscopy. Somebody's also being seen as invasive, uh, just very in your face and brutal. Sagittarius. So somebody could have been involved in setting up a Sagittarius. 
It could be either you, Libra, or uh, a King of Cups. False positive. So somebody was like, no, I didn't have nothing to do with it and shit. And I feel like somebody's like, yes, the fuck you did. Yeah, you did. 15, 15. Tell me more about this Sagittarius setup. Who set this Sagittarius up? Look, a Scorpio or there's some kind of tower moment. People are realizing now who actually set up a Sagittarius. I feel like people are seeing it. Yeah, I feel like somebody's like, I wish I never did this. Yep. And somebody, I feel like, is coming off very defensive here. And they know that they're caught. And somebody's like, how dare you? How dare you tell me? I don't know, man. Queen of Wands. There could be a karmic female or an Aries Leo Sagittarius female. If it's not that, then there's definitely a karmic female involved. Damn. Or a karmic Scorpio or something. But there's somebody that's very hateful and competitive here. I've seen the copycat. Look, it was right on top of here. I feel like someone's being seen as like a clone or a copycat or that they tried copying somebody. This may actually be like a, a copycat. Somebody made this may be identity. Yeah, somebody's under judgment. There's a there's a karmic here that's under judgment. But there may be somebody here who used somebody's ID to do something, uh, forge documents or cash a check or something. I feel like that's what that copycat is though. Tell me more about this. Yeah. So I don't know. Somebody's also under judgment because they may have had their, their, somebody had their kids taken away here. Yeah. Hold on, you guys. That was a ten of, a swords. Somebody betrayed their kids. I feel like there's a female here. Uh, there's something with a betrayal of a child here. Somebody's also realizing, somebody wants to apologize for blaming somebody else for a, somebody else for a setup, Okay. And I feel like somebody, if you're not dealing with a Virgo, is like hiding. Like they're embarrassed. They don't know how to talk to people. Uh, and I feel like people are like, you know, we can't, we can't, we, we don't want nothing to do with you. Yeah, we're in different, yeah. Somebody's being cut out of something. I don't know if this is a will, but somebody's being cut out of a group or um, I, somebody feels out. Somebody's been outcasted. Thank you. I couldn't get that out. Somebody here has been outcasted, okay? And it had to do with a setup of a Sagittarius period. So I don't know where you fall into this Libra. Let's get one more spiritual card for you guys, okay? Can I get one more spiritual card? Oh, we didn't do a demon card either. Sorry, yours may be the longest. Oh, that's too many. That's way too many. <sighs> spiritual, I'm so glad you're the last one. I'm drained. Gossip dies when it hits wise ears. So somebody that was gossiping and lying about somebody that probably had to do with that setup of a Sagittarius. Somebody's like, nah, I don't believe it. I know this person. And fuck out of here. Yeah, somebody, yo, this is great. Somebody was like, are you kidding me? Get out of here. I know this person. Don't even try it. Let's find out who this is, huh? Let's dig. Who were they gossiping about that somebody was like, get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Let's find out. It was just 1818. Ace of Pentacles. Could be an earth sign. They could have been gossiping about a child or something too. Yeah, somebody was just being seen as hateful. I feel like somebody's jealous that somebody's blessed here. And somebody's just being looked at as hateful, okay? Dark, like just a, a, a jaw flapper and shit. Yeah, and I feel like they're, they're, they're embarrassed. Somebody's also being seen as like mentally conflicted, if you want to say it nicely, okay? There's a lot of air here too, though. But they're getting karma for this. Somebody's going through a lot of karma for gossiping, and I feel like this is like smear campaign shit, all right? Here's how to get wise. Refuse to hear stories that aren't yours to hear. Refrain from telling stories that aren't yours to tell. If someone comes at you with it, oh my God, did you hear about... Stop them right there and ask if it's gossip, rumor, dirt, or other such junk. Yeah, so somebody's being exposed as a fucking shit talker here. This is your mantra today. Say it in a New Jersey accent. Fuck out of here. So somebody could be from Jersey or there's some people from Jersey that were lied to or they're being seen as liars or some shit like that. But somebody's like, nah, get out of here. This person would never do something like that. Somebody was going on. Hey, hey, mama said the way you move. So somebody could have lied and said somebody was like a stripper or a prostitute or that they slept with somebody or that somebody did some dirty shit for some change. And somebody's like, nah, I know this person, man. No way. And I feel like it just ended right there. I feel like somebody actually defended somebody. Somebody's a shit talker, and they were getting away with it for a long time, and they talked to the wrong person. 
And this is the universe working like this. This was divinely orchestrated. I'm not doing the A's anymore. I will do it because it came out. Abraxas. This may be somebody shit talking. Let's see. I can't stand shit talkers. I can't stand gossipers and shit. When I say something out of my mouth, it's something that happened to me. Beware of lies and omission and hidden truths. Didn't I tell you? Somebody's a liar. Somebody's being seen as an absolute piece of shit liar. I feel like this person, everything that's ever come out of their mouth has been a lie. Everything. Who is this? Who's this Abraxas here for Libra? The Leo, for some of you, are being seen as a liar. Or this is a Leo seeing you like this. Maybe in the past somebody lied about a Leo or something in the past that happened with a Leo. But someone someone was like, nah, I know this person. And, and get out of here with that. All right. I don't know who that's for. 20 minutes. Damn, I think you guys had the longest one. I love you guys. Have a good day today. Bye.